What is going on? Welcome back to Clean Chic Outdoors. I am in the outdoors. We are going leech trapping today. Well, we're gonna go set new traps. The one pond that I've been using in the past has not been producing yet just because it's a little bit deeper pond and it's colder out. But I know there's leeches available to be caught in places, so we're gonna go see what we can accomplish. I'll go through a little step-by-step -step process of an easy way to trap some leeches, so let's go. Okay, first thing you need is some type of pie plate. I recommend something with a little bit sturdier of a of, a, of an end here because the, the line or the rope that you're gonna tie onto here can come through quite easily. So there's like cheaper models at like Dollar Tree or something like that that'll work, but it'll rip through the tin foil sometimes when you throw it out. So you want something with just a little bit better of an end. I have some of these little bit bigger ones that I've used here in the past, but I'm gonna go with the medium size because that's all you really need to get away with. So we're gonna go with six today because we're gonna put out six new traps so probably six different bodies of water and we will see obviously what the outcome is. But that's step one, pie plates. Step two, binder clips, they're called right here. I'm at the Dollar Tree. This is a package of 12. I So that's what I need. I need two per pie plate. So that will be plenty right there, but they are cheap and I'm gonna have some more traps here in the future. So I want another one as some backups as well. So step two, binder clips. Okay, dokie, I'm at my first pond here that I'm gonna try, it's just off of a road, so it's super convenient, super easy to set up. I grab the rest of my supplies from home, so I will set the camera down here on the tailgate and we'll talk a little bit about how to set up the leech trap. This is a super, better lighting, super simple method. There's other things you can use, to get a little more technical, I've seen some PVC pipes and stuff like that. This is like probably one of the easiest ways to do it. This is one of the pie plates. I got the other ones in the truck just because I didn't want to, as I was taking out, I didn't want any of the plastic to wrap away. All you're gonna do is take your pie plate, you're gonna fold it in half, perfectly in half. Okay, that is step one. Easy. Step two, one of the halves, you're going to make a little hole at the top here and this is where your line is basically going to be tied to where you can throw the trap out and retrieve it. You're also going to take and poke some holes in it. This is to let the blood, the blood of the meat out as well as some leeches can get into the trap. Super easy. Now, deer meat works really well scraps i had some uh, leftover deer meat from the last fall actually my uncle i uh, had a hind quarter that wasn't like very good you know kind of shot up type of thing happens sometimes so i got a bunch of that that i had uh, froze for over the the winter basically and got it all prepared here lots of blood is always good liver's good heart's good etc so we're going to grab a piece of meat here nice chunk still a little bit frozen that's okay we'll throw her in there i've got lots of weight in here right now with this meat if i say how to pull a smaller piece of meat i would put some rocks in there to make it easier to throw and then these binder clips that i said to buy earlier this right here will just help keep the trap together so you take your clip and you put one on each side basically and that'll help keep the the trap all together like so then you're going to attach on your rope or line is what i use i have a bunch of i don't even know what it is anymore it's 50 pound strand this is uh i don't even know where i got this but i got piles of it so this is what i use here i'll tie it on here and like I said about those, the cheaper pie plates, this is where sometimes you throw it out and then it'll rip through that aluminum. No good. So tie it on there, do a uni knot, two, three. Uh, I don't have to worry about any lubrication because I'm not worried about it. Frain, obviously. See, right there, perfect example. Obviously I didn't buy the best plates. I just ripped through right there. So what happens is when you throw it out like that, a lot of weight on it sometimes you'll rip it through and i 
didn't even put a lot of pressure on that. So I made a hole here on the other side now and I will try that again. But that, that was actually good for the video because that shows you exactly what can happen. Now maybe a rope or something like that uh, wouldn't rip through as easy, but we're okay, we're okay. I'm not going to cinch it as hard this time. Okay, I didn't cinch down as hard this time to rip it through. So now I'm gonna pull a bunch of line off here for when I throw it out. I'm not worried about cutting it off yet, just for the fact that I can throw it out and cut it off after. So we'll turn the camera around and we'll toss her out here in this little pond. One, two, and a three. Perfecto. Good enough, let it sink down. Now I'll cut off this end right here and I have a stake that I brought which I will tie it to. So I just took a stake like this right here, put it into the ground next to the pond here, cut the line off and yeah, and that will be good. And we'll check that trap tomorrow morning. We're gonna go put out a couple more traps plus rebate some of the traps that I've already have out uh, in areas that I know that are good. So on to the next new pond, pond number two. Oh, beaver run. Okay, on to pond three. Back in the yard, my camera died out there. I didn't have any other batteries with me, but I basically just put out more traps. So I have out now a total of six traps. So we'll check them in the future, but a few things I wanted to, to talk about why leeches. Leeches are literally one of the best baits you can get for early season walleye. Actually, you know what? They can be really good all summer into the fall as well until it starts to get pretty cold. Then in the fall time, once it starts, the water starts to get really cold, the leeches will ball up on your hook and they'll be almost useless. And that's when the minnow bite will start and et cetera. So leeches, I know slow death um, worms have been pretty hot over the last couple of years. Frozen minnow bite will be hot or live minnow bite, depending where you're from, will be hot in the early season too. And then it might die off a little bit throughout the summer. And that's when the, the worms and the leeches will really take over. And then the minnow bite will pick up more into the fall time again. But shallow water right now, if you guys are going out for any walleye fishing, this is a great time for shore fishing as well, because you can usually reach any of the spots from shore in terms of where the fish are, are sitting shallow water like i'm talking like sometimes in a foot or two feet of water like you'd be surprised how shallow they get when that sun starts to warm up the water and that's your warmest water that's bringing in the bait fish which will bring in the fish to feed on them so you go have a really calm day and you're going along the shoreline watch for some dimpling and stuff like that across or close to the shore and there'll be minnows that are kind of feeding on insects off the surface and that will uh, be a good spot to key in on for the walleyes because they won't be too far behind feeding on those minners. But leeches, if you're in the boat, you could sit off like say about, you know, 20, 30 feet from shore anchored or I use my talon obviously all the time back there. I'll talon like in seven, eight feet of water, something like that and pitch jigs towards the shoreline and just kind of pop them back obviously it's more fun if you can get on like a soft plastic bite but sometimes it can be a little bit fussy yet this time of the year a little bit more lethargic and that live minnow just kind of sitting there on a small little jig like a one eighth ounce jig something like that just sitting there just pitch it out pop it let it sit pop it let it sit don't be scared to let it sit there sometimes a little bit and let that leech move around you don't want to bring it in too fast give that fish some time to come over there check it out and suck it in We'll cover more about that, obviously, in the future here. I'll talk about techniques for it. Just wanted to do a little leech video, something super simple. I'll do another video of going out and checking the traps. I'm going to have more videos like this in the future. They're not always going to be always fishing. Obviously, I'm going to try to get out as much as possible. But sometimes like this, it just lets me film something quick in the afternoon and get a video out in that evening or early the next morning, something like that. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And don't forget, get outside.